Hello, going to run through a quick demo of the polyline traverse label feature. Looking at this sample drawing, we see we have an air photo streaming from Bing, Bing into AutoCAD. We have four survey points marking the corners of this parcel of land, and we see that the UCS has been rotated from the world. It's been changed to match the two bottom points here. Another thing we want to check we have our current layer set to the V-Traverse-X layer. So when we check our Traverse options here, so P-Trav options, we see that our current context layer name is the same, V-Traverse-X. So any polyline on this layer will receive the Traverse label. Click OK to that, start drawing a polyline, I'm going to snap to a node in the bottom right, and you can see now the polyline is displayed with the distance and bearing. Snap to the node on the left, snap to the node at the top and at the right, and close. So you can see that all four segments are labeled with the distance and bearing. If we check our Traverse options, so P Trav options again, we can change our units here. So we have angular unit or angular values. We can change the degrees, minutes, seconds to display. Click apply. So you will see that the bearings in this case will be displayed as degrees, minutes, seconds. If I turn that off, and click apply. We see that it's currently being displayed as five decimals. So if we change this precision, if I only want three, click apply. There we are. Angles are reformatted. If I would rather display an azimuth, we can come down to appearances and change that bearing distance to an azimuth distance. Click apply and we will have the azimuth shown. Other labeling styles here, we can do an arc angle length. So if we had arcs in our polyline, it would display the length on those. Deflection distance, so if we click this and apply, we will see that we have a deflection of 90 at that first bend. Coming up, we have a deflection just over 90 at that second, and at the third, just less than 90. If we had elevations assigned to our polyline, we could change to elevation, click apply, and we would see the elevation displayed along that polyline. Of course, our elevation is currently zero, so zero is displayed. Looking at some of the other format styles here, set this back to bearing distance first, we see point of beginning here. So right now it's set to origin. If we change this to none, of course, there will be nothing displayed there. Change it to a circle, apply, we'll see a blue circle and color are the same as the labels. Filled circle, or we can use that origin size if we need to make their text bigger here. So let's make this 15 instead. We'll see that the text gets quite a lot bigger. Set this back to 3. And our linear unit precision here down at the bottom. So right now we see that our distances are being formatted to two decimals, but if I needed three or others, I could change that quite easily and it would display the value. Set that back to 2. Here we are. Everything is very dynamic with this label. If I made an edit to this polyline, if I added a vertex, we would see that we would get labels along each segment. So here I'm going to actually just snap to near just to insert along there. And if I wanted to insert another point here, add vertex, we would see again that those labels are added dynamically. I'm just going to remove those labels or remove those vertices. There we are. 
back as it was. One other thing in the PTRAV options, if we check that real quick, we see in here there is a, a setting to scale for our viewport. So right here, apply viewport scale. So right now that's enabled. So if I go over to paper space, go into my viewport, zoom extends here. And let's just zoom to a one to two for my default scale factors here. Getting a tool tip pop up, that's kind of in the way. There we are. And if I regen, we should see that the label should adjust correctly. If I go turn on my air photo here just to see. There we are. And this is currently rotated to the world, so everything lines up in terms of my bearing and distance is still ready to go. Thank you.